respected students welcome back everyone today's video is about top 5 questions which are asked in second technical round especially uh, which is also known as logical scenario based rounds and the reason why i have written here differences the questions will be like uh, the difference between pie chart and donut chart the difference between live connection and direct query the difference between pro premium slices filter so these types of questions i have covered in this video okay so we will start with the video and we all think that these questions are very simple but uh, interviewer expects the exact points from you the reason why because it's the second technical round in first technical round you can somewhere be uh, tell entire story or whatever thing you know but in second uh, technical point you should be up to the point okay so now let's start with the video but before starting if you are new on our channel uh, subscribe and press bell icon and follow us on social media especially instagram and telegram so now let's start with the video the first question is what is the difference between pie chart and donut chart so we all think that uh, this is quite simple question and no doubt it's quite simple question but uh, the thing there are two important points which uh, you should cover while explaining this question and i will tell you uh, i will show you one uh, picture also see uh, let's see this picture so the difference between pie chart and donut chart is see pie chart uh, covers whole area if you will see it covers whole area here but in terms of donut chart the center hole is there okay the first difference is pie chart covers entire area you also know that and the second uh, and donut chart covers only this um, uh, cover sorry donut chart has this center hole also in it but the second most difference what i have added now here in this point is that let's say now here only three parts are there this is the most important point which i am going to tell okay so let's say here only three parts are there let's say that here six to seven parts would be there okay so in that case and even client wants to see on percentage wise data wise and even he wants leveling also so here 20 percent will also be there 110 whatever price and india will also be there and there are six to seven parts so now we'll see how much glitchy it will look pie chart it will not at all it will not at all look good so in that case what we do with pie chart that uh, means here after means not in between but here uh, above we will show that all labeling properly okay so due to that what will happen now uh, it will take more space in uh, our uh, report okay we have many uh, visuals in our report like a uh, table matrix and cards and all other decomposition tree bar charts are there so already your pie chart had consumed that space and if you will show labeling outside then it will again take more space but in terms of donut chart you can use this middle space which is there now you can use this space for labeling this is the main difference between pie chart and donut chart what even when i take interview that time many candidates only tell that pie chart uh, whole complete area is there and in donut chart uh, this center hole is there yeah this is the difference no doubt but the professional data analyst will answer like that if you want to show labeling in pie chart it will be shown outside which will consume the space and will impact on report but in terms of donut chart you can use this middle wall of space for labeling okay so this is the main uh, difference between pie chart and donut chart and here also see i have written that uh, the center area can be utilized for additional context this last point okay but in terms of uh, pie chart you have to show after okay coming to direct query and live connection the second uh, difference you all know that mostly uh, in interview interviewer is asking difference between import mode and direct query but right now in 2024-25 the most trending questions which is there the co uh, that question is the difference between direct query and live connection okay so first of all direct query which is there it is used for large data set and in case of live connection it is used for real time scenarios okay let's say you are having a huge data set of 10-15 million rows or more data is there so in that case uh, we use direct query sometimes in our star scheme also 
only fact table we fetch with direct query so if huge data set is there then we go with direct query but if you want to see live data completely live reports so in that case you go with live connection connecting with that power bi data set is there or uh, our analysis services there or azure data breaks is also there okay so this is the first uh, difference second difference is you can see <clears throat> direct query can be connected to multiple sources like sql oracle sap hala everything but lc which is their live connection it is only connected with power bi data set azure data bricks and all those things so direct query can be connected with wide range of data sources but live connection can be connected with limited range of data sets theek hai then direct query is used when working with diverse data source and there is large data set that is impractical to import correct that only i have told and live connection is used for uh, real time data okay direct query allows more flexibility in terms of data sources and models within power bi correct live connection leverages pre built and optimized models in correct this is also the per, uh, the more, uh, most important point you can tell that flexibility is there in data sources uh, in case of live uh, direct query but in live connection optimized models are there theek okay? hai and uh, last point which i have added uh, in direct query not table this able spell is spelling is wrong sorry for that so in direct query uh, not able to see data in data view whatever our data view is there in that in direct query you can't see data or time intelligence function issues there and in live connection two separate pbx file would be there okay i had worked on live connection i know that report pbx file and data set pbx file is different in live connection and whatever measures and all changes you have to do that you do in data set pbx file and then publish it and make sure that is repointed correctly to the the report dashboard pbx file then only it will show changes what you have done in data sets or data set pbx file or measures okay these are the three four differences between direct query and live connection again this is the most important question the most simple as well as most important question in second technical round that is difference between same period last year parallel period and data and so see uh, this falls under time intelligence tax functions so these are the syntax for uh, same period last year uh, it's quite simple so let's say today july 2024 so when same period last year is there it will completely take you to july 2023 okay once again i will repeat today july 2024 is there when you will use same period last year it will take to july 2023 it will not take you to july 2022 again i am repeating if today is july 2024 same period last year will completely take to last year same period that is july 2023 it can't take you to july 2024 or uh, 22 sorry okay so in that case you use parallel period that's the difference main difference between same period last year and parallel period so a parallel period syntax is used uh, written like this date column is past number of interval minus 1 to whatever and interval is like month year whatever you have to pass see parallel period gives flexibility minus 1 minus 2 whatever and month year whatever you have to pass here in same period last year you can't pass month also and that minus 2 3 also you can't do completely minus 1 year only it is going to do that's the difference between same period last year and parallel period coming to date add date add can shift you to any range even plus minus one also it can do for example if you have to find uh, revenue from start date to last year so in that case also you can do plus minus uh, one along with date add function okay and useful for custom rolling period such as moving average and all those things custom period comparison so in that case date add is used the syntax for data and parallel period is somewhere same only but here along with data plus one also month and all those things you can do with calculate of total revenue even i have done that okay that's the difference between same period last year parallel period and date add parallel period is quite flexible it can uh, move you anywhere you want but same period last year is completely stagnant okay that's the difference uh, this is the 
most simple uh, question again what is the difference between slicers and filters see slicers work at front end filters work at back end okay client which is there he can play around with slicers but with filters he can't ha huh. if he knows power bi service and if he knows how to edit the reports and all those things then he can play around but most of the 80 to 90% of pbi uh, developers which uh, sorry clients which are there they don't know how to play around with uh, pbi service that to with edit functionality so this second point is that client can play around with slicers whatever he want to filter data on 1st of july on india on any customer id any customer name he can play around with slicers but in case of filters he can't play around with that slicers are visuals filters are not this third point is not that strong but you can tell this thing also the main point here is second point is the main point here okay client can play with, around with slicer but with filter he can't coming to what is the difference between pro premium it is the quite simple question but candidates are not able to the reason why i have put this question in second technical round it actually comes in first technical round the reason why i have added because when i take interview of candidate out of 10 7 to 6 to 7 candidates only tell this thing that difference between pro is 10 dollars premium per user is 20 dollars see in premium premium per capacity is also there but that is use means it's completely when your report is quite optimized and huge data is there very less chances are there so only i have added pro and premium per user not premium per capacity okay so many candidates only tell this two three differences but there are six to seven differences that i have added properly here pro has fee of 10 dollars monthly premium has fee of 20 dollars monthly in pro 1 gb of feedback file can be uploaded 1 gb means around 1.2 gb you can upload after 1.2 gb it will not get published in premium around 100 gb of feedback file can be uploaded in pro 10 gb of storage is there okay in premium 100 tb of storage is there pro 8 times scheduled refresh premium 48 times scheduled refresh daily this dollars whatever fees is there that is monthly okay wait i will edit here right now monthly okay and uh, daily and here also daily okay so these are the differences between uh, pro and premium and see eight times schedule and this advanced ai is not working in pro but in case of premium advanced ai is working and this last point which is there it falls under both the things but you can tell that page landed reports are available in pro and premium as well and mobile access is given to pro and premium as well okay so these are the uh, five top heated question trending questions which were asked or which are asked in second technical round or even when I take the interview, that time I also ask this question. Especially, I will tell you which questions I ask in second technical round. This pie chart, donut chart, wala, this direct query life connection and same period last year, parallel period. These are the questions which I ask in interview when I take the interview. Okay. So, if you have, and more five questions are also going to come that I will take in next video. Okay. So if you have any kind of doubt, make sure you are commenting within one hour. I will reply and subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos and take the notes. Okay. Take screenshot, take notes while speaking. Also, I tell some of the additional points, which I have not added here. That also you can write in the notebook and follow us on social media, especially Instagram and Telegram. Thank you everyone for watching till end.